A new iOS 26.2 beta update is now available and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that you need to know. Let's go. In the accessibility settings there is a new flash for alerts option that now includes support for the screen. Before it was just the LED flash only, now you have both selections. This update adds table support for the freeform app so now it's a selection that you can actually use. In the code of this update it hints that soon Apple could introduce a new airdrop option like 30 days with a pin. Live translation will be coming to the European Union when this update releases and with the possibility of new languages as well. It seems like Apple has started to listen to user feedback because now they've added the ability to adjust the liquid glass on the clock. There's now a new slider that allows you to adjust the glass effect and you can see how this affects the clock and the UI in the background. Podcast has a new splash screen and it mentions chapters and links that are now clickable within a podcast. When it comes to how and fitness in the health app section there is now a new sleep score category that you can now see in the news app now they've added category shortcuts that help you access different subsections before you actually had to go to the plus section and choose the category you want now you don't have to do that you can quickly jump into the different sections. Reminders has been updated. Now when you are creating a new reminder, you now have the ability to create an alarm associated to that specific reminder, which is something that's new. This update suggests that the weather app may be getting relative timing, which means it could eventually say things like next Monday morning or specific day expectations. This update also comes with a new modern firmware version update. So if you're experiencing issues when it comes to some of your connections, like the icons that you have here then it might resolve some of those issues this is the build number that's associated to this ios 26.2 version and if you're curious to know when the next beta or update will be coming out typically that's within two weeks so maybe november 17th the update size for me came in at 8.39 gigs and i was updating from ios 26.1 other 26.2 updates that came out alongside this include watch os vision os tv os ipad os and ios unfortunately there's no Mac OS 26.2. If you're wondering if you should install this iOS version, I would say hold off a little bit. It still has some bugs that pertains to different things such as widgets, search, and the battery is not that great. That's it for now. Follow for more.